my name's Rosa and I'm from Ains Corp. We distribute Salts Ostomy products throughout Australia and New Zealand and today I'm going to talk to you about you and your stoma and what you might feel after your surgery. So when you first wake up from your operation you will feel tired. It's possible that you may experience a range of emotions during this time and for quite a while afterwards. This will vary as we're all very different. You might have drips and drain tubes attached to your body, but there's no reason to be alarmed. This is normal. These will all be removed when appropriate and with very little discomfort to you. Each stoma is different and it may take a while for your stoma to start working. It will be best to discuss this with your stoma care nurse and they will keep a close eye on you and your stoma. So what will your stoma be like after surgery? Well, after your surgery, you'll have a collection pouch covering your new stoma. This may change while your stoma settles as different types of stomas require different types of pouches, but your stomal therapy nurse will guide you through all of this and help you make the decision. Your pouch will be transparent or will have a viewing window so that your nurses can check on the color and size of your stoma easily. The nurses will empty your bag until you are feeling well enough to do it yourself. You will have no control over when your stoma works, so it is important to have a collection pouch on at all times. If you have more questions or want to read more about your stoma, you can refer to our specific You and Your books for more information on stoma output or ask your nurse for more information. Another great reference for more information are the Ostomy Company websites. Ours is www.ainscorp.com.au and on our website under Patient Education and Information you can find all of our You and Your Stoma booklets and plenty of other little information guides as well as videos to help you get an idea of life with a stoma and how to apply your stoma bag. There are many different types of stoma products and appliances and the type of product that you use will depend on the type of stoma you have and the output from your stoma. So a majority of colostomates, those with a stoma from their large intestine, will use a closed appliance and they'll change this as the bag fills up. If the output from the stoma is more liquid, as with an ileostomy, a stoma from the small intestine, an ostomate will likely use a drainable appliance and drain the output as the bag fills up. So these pouches don't need to be changed every time they fill up as we can drain them in the toilet. Your stoma nurse will advise how often to change these pouches. Drainable pouches must be emptied when they're one third to half full, otherwise it's much trickier to empty them and it could cause spillage. The pouches also come in a variety of sizes, mini, standard and large, to suit daily requirements and your stomal therapy nurse will cover this with you. All the pouches are waterproof so they can be worn while bathing or showering or even swimming. All the pouches have a filter which aids in expelling gas from the bag and you must regularly check your pouch for how full it is, if there's any leakage, is there any ballooning? Is it blowing up with too much gas from the stoma? And really importantly, is the pouch still sticking correctly to your skin? For those with a urostomy, you will have a urostomy bag that will fill with urine and has a tap on the bottom of the bag for drainage. These can be drained as they fill up and your stoma nurse will advise on how often to change your pouch. They can be one or two piece and all connect to an overnight drainage bag so you don't have to get up multiple times throughout the night to keep draining your bag. So how do we change our stoma bag or pouch? First you need to make sure that you have everything on hand before you change your bag. 
This will make it much easier rather than being halfway through and remembering a couple of other things and not having a pouch over your stoma. So you need to have a clean or new stoma bag, scissors and potentially your stoma template if you need to, dry wipes or plain kitchen towel, not cotton wool or tissues, some warm water, a disposal bag or rubbish bag, and potentially some adhesive remover if required, and your stomal therapy nurse will advise on this. To change your bag, we need to make sure it's the right size for our stoma. So we need to draw the template of your stoma onto the adhesive of the bag, and then cut out according to that line that we've just drawn. It's really important, especially after surgery, to keep checking the size of your stoma and to check it continuously at least once per week as it can change in size and we need to cut the bag according to exactly the size of the stoma that day or week. If you're using a drainable or urostomy pouch, we need to make sure we close the opening before we put the bag on, just so no output comes out when we're in the middle of changing our bag. It's really important when we're cutting our bag to size that the hole around your stoma fits really snugly, not too tight, but so there's not any skin showing around the edge. Otherwise, your output from your stoma can leak onto your skin and cause some irritation. If you would like your bags to arrive already cut to size, this might be possible once you've had your stoma go down after surgery, so once all the swelling's reduced, and your stomal therapy nurse will discuss whether this is appropriate for you. So before we put the new bag on, we need to take our old pouch off. And if we're wearing a drainable or urostomy pouch, it's best to empty the pouch completely into the toilet to prevent spillage while we change our pouch. So we've got our nice empty pouch, that we're going to carefully remove from our skin. So you might use some adhesive remover with this and if you do, put the adhesive remover around the sides of the pouch and wait 10 seconds for it to work and then slowly release the pouch from your skin. So it's best if you keep one hand above your stoma on your skin and use the other hand to slowly peel the adhesive off your skin. Once you've removed it, fold the adhesive section of your old pouch in half to seal it so it won't cause any spillage. Place that used bag into a disposal sack or a bin. Do not put them in the toilet as they will block it. Use some dry wipes or kitchen roll and warm water to clean around the stoma. Place these in the disposal sack or bin and again, don't put them in the toilet as they will block it. We then just need to ensure the skin around the stoma is dry and we're ready to put the new bag or pouch on our skin. So now our skin is all prepped and ready for the new pouch. So we're going to remove the backing film from the adhesive of our new bag. The best way to then put the bag on is to fold the top half of the adhesive back away from our stomach, position the bottom half around the stoma and then working from the bottom, smoothing the whole pouch upwards around your stoma with your fingers. It's really important to take the time to ensure there are no creases in the adhesive and use the warmth of your hands to mould the bag to your skin. So this makes sure it's really well stuck. So the warmer that adhesive is, the better it will stick and gel to your skin. So even keep your warm hands on that adhesive for a couple of minutes to get the best seal. Your stomal therapy nurse will walk you through this whole process and it may suit your stoma perfectly just using the one pouch or you might need some accessories to get that best seal of your bag around your stoma. You won't be discharged until they're really happy that you or your care team are really confident with this process. You've just heard me describe how important it is that we clean that skin really well and be careful when we're pulling off the bags. 
we need to be really sure that we keep the skin around our stoma really happy because we're having adhesive on it at all times and this can cause some issues if we don't take care of that skin well. So immediately after your surgery, your stoma and the surrounding skin may be a little bit swollen and even a little bit irritated. This is to be expected post-operatively and with really good care, it should improve in appearance over time. If you start to develop sore, irritated or even broken skin, please do not delay in contacting your stoma care nurse for appropriate advice just to make sure you're getting the right treatment and you may even need to swap products or add in some extra ones, maybe even just while that skin is healing up. If you are experiencing sore skin, you can also refer to the SALTS You and Your Stoma booklets or the SALTS troubleshooting video. So really importantly, the skin around your stoma should look like normal skin. Just because there's a stoma there doesn't mean your skin should look any different to the rest of the skin on your stomach. And if it doesn't, it could be due to a range of things. It could be it's a bit irritated from leakage from your stoma getting onto the skin around that stoma. It could be irritated due to having the inappropriate products. Your body might not like the certain components of that base plate. You might have an allergy or an irritation. You might have potentially have a separation of the skin around the stoma, just separating out from that lovely stitch line after surgery. There might be a bit of trauma from removing the pouches or from cleaning too harshly. You might have left your pouch on for too long. Or certain diseases and conditions can affect skin quality as well. We're very lucky in Australia and New Zealand that we have access to a huge range of stoma products and accessories if we have any troubles getting our pouch to stick to our skin. There are a huge range for skin protection, to help with leakage, to help with security, um, to help deodorise smells that might come from the pouches, to help thicken your output and to help with removal of the pouches as well. So these include things like you can see in the pictures, we've got a whole range of steels, a whole range of flange extenders, adhesive removers and belts and paste. These are just some examples of the accessories and it's best to discuss any accessory use with your stomal therapy nurse. So how do we get our supplies in Australia? To get any government funded supplies, an ostomate, so someone with a stoma, has to be a member of an ostomy association. So we're very lucky that we have a completely government funded scheme that gives all people with a stoma a certain product allowance each month. So these associations contact all the different stoma companies to buy their product. They collect them all up together so you don't just have to order from one company, you can order bits and pieces from all six different companies and they'll collect them up and ship them to you. If you need more supplies than the prescribed product allowance, these can be prescribed by a stomal therapy nurse if it's absolutely necessary. You also don't have to order every month if you have enough product. Like I've said a couple of times, different stomas mean people might change their pouches differently and you may not change it frequently as your friend who has a stoma, so you don't need to order more if you've got enough to cover you for that month. Some products on the government funded scheme do require a prescription by a stoma therapy nurse prior to ordering. And to be a part of the association, there is a membership cost each year, this is quite small, and there's a postage cost each month. You can also pick up your samples directly if you live close to an association and then you wouldn't have to pay the postage cost each month. What you get is a form that you fill in with product codes, how many items you need of each product and then you email, fax or post this off to the association when you need your order. Your stoma, stoma therapy nurse will cover all of this with you. In New Zealand, 
we are very lucky that we also have a completely government funded scheme and you must be in contact with a somal therapy nurse to get those government funded products. So if you've had your surgery in a hospital, you will be linked up with the stomal therapy nurse and they will arrange the products for you each month. Once again, we get a certain amount of product each month, but the nurses can prescribe more if it's absolutely necessary. And once again, you don't have to order every month if you have enough to get you through. So thank you for listening to me and if you have any questions, this was just a very brief video. There's plenty of information out there. The best places are the Ostomy Company websites. There is our app available on the Google Play and the App Store. You can contact your local stomal therapy nurse and the websites below are for Australia and New Zealand. In Australia, you can also contact the Ostomy Association that you're a member of. And all the Ostomy Company customer care services are fantastic and very helpful.